in your attitude to improve your health. How long can you go on living on these medicines? Continue your work now and come to my clinic directly after work. And please let Ashwarya help you. I'm sorry. Come, take your place. Good evening, Lokesh. Ma'am, this is Mohan, whom I mentioned about. Mohan, this is my school teacher. I have learned a lot from her. Her advice will certainly help you. So, tell me about your problems. Ma'am, I'm having a lot of tension in the office. I get stressed and angry easily, which is affecting me, my work, and my family. Come here and look at this picture. This is a picture of a symmetry. <laughs> yes. Can you read what is written on the stone? Martin, born 1966 and died 2003. It is the grave of Martin Ralph. Yes, the famous managing director of Martin Byrne Company. He died four years ago due to anxiety and a heart attack. He was a perfectionist and wanted all projects to be done in time. He used to think if things weren't done his way, it will never be successful. But today, the company still exists. In fact, they are doing better than before. And do you see the trees in the picture? Yes. Some of them are small, some big, some bent. They are not all alike or perfect in shape, but still overall, the picture looks beautiful. In the same way, in an office, some are more efficient and some less but they all contribute to the completion of a job. See the overall result. Perfection is good, but not to the extent that it affects your health and hurts others. I try to remain cool in the office, but people make me angry. In the office, one of the staff, Redima, always sits behind and gossips. Today, I asked her to sit in front of me, but she got angry and said I insulted her. But when I asked Natasha, she said she could shift without any problem. Rudima has got a lot of ego. So you agree that she has got ego. But your ego is more than Rudima's. And that is why you wanted to sack Ashwarya for coming late. Haven't you been coming late for the past few days? Well, you can afford to. After all, you are her boss. I do things for a valid reason. But you are not ready to listen to others' reasons. That is the problem. We only listen to what we want to listen and not to what is being told. Can you wear your goggles? How does it look now? Well, everything looks green. The same way we all look to the glass of our ego. Our prejudgment, what is required, is to listen objectively, not subjectively. And then you will know the fact. But how do you do that? You said your colleague felt insulted when you asked her to shift. You uttered only a few words. You will agree that the same words have a different reaction on different people. That proves that there was nothing wrong with the words, but the way one interprets them makes a difference. It means there is something in a person which judges, evaluates, prompts, and makes you either sad or happy. Yes. That is you, your ego. I did not understand that. People create an image that they have, a name, a face, a status, so they are that. But actually, these are just the passing thoughts of the mind. We need to realize that we are not the thoughts. Otherwise, with every thought coming, you come, and with every thought going, you will go. You are beyond thought. You are the soul. Once you realize and practice it, you will not be disturbed. You won't be stressed. But it is very difficult to practice. You must be convinced at heart that you can change yourself. Be like a scientist who believes in impossible. Just imagine how difficult it must have been for the first man who flew in the sky. Imagine the number of experiments 
he must have done and the number of failures he must have gone through but a voice from within told him that he would succeed in the same way if you want to change you must believe in yourself that it is possible i tell myself that i will try not to get angry or stressed but again it happens in the mornings i want to read the newspaper but my mother shouts and jatin makes me angry what to do if you're having arguments with jatin then don't meet him change your company okay i can avoid jatin's company but what about my mother you have to live with your mother learn to accept her point of view also don't think you are always correct try to put yourself in the position of others and think how they would feel remember anger is the biggest enemy in anger people commit a crime for which they have to repent throughout all their lives try keeping a few minutes every day for meditation this will slowly give you power to control emotions and make you stronger yes you need to practice the ceiling on your desires deadlines and time bring stress and anger also learn time management if you know that you have an important job at the office you have to stop reading the newspaper and get ready in time but you feel entertained by reading the newspaper for that you need to change your value system first value system why ma'am you may feel that going to parties with clients and drinking until late night is good for your business but drinks is actually spoiling your liver late nights mean getting up late in the morning which does not leave time for any physical exercise deep down in your mind you feel late night parties are important but actually they're not they are only spoiling your health family life and your efficiency be open ask only for what you need don't run after your desires but this is required to get business to get business you need to concentrate on your services the pricing of your products and if they are better than others your business will definitely prosper it does not prosper with parties this is what i meant by changing the value system certainly i feel very light and happy today lokesh thank you for this wonderful opportunity for inviting me to meet your teacher you're very welcome best of luck always be happy baba says always be happy baba says life is a miracle in the human race life is a miracle in the human race joys and sorrows in life will come joys and sorrows in life will come treat them like happy clouds and sing the last day Your heart, 
After 20 years of experiments in USA, scientists have found that 80% of body genes are turned on in the brain. The vagus nerve, which regulates our heartbeat, breathing, the intestines can stop inflammation and damage to body if it is stimulated in the brain. The brain helps our immune system to fight diseases, calming the body, and the mind slows down the cancer. Because when we are stressed, the norepinephrine hormones are released, which feeds tumors. So, reducing stress might prove as a cancer fighter. Let us learn not to be stressed. Please keep some time every day for meditation and practice all the advices given to Mr. Mohan for a healthy living. Now I request our Honorable Chief Guest, First Secretary Councillor, Embassy of India, Mr. D. J. Chandran, to come on stage and say a few words to our participants and guests. Friends, let me first thank the organizers for giving us an opportunity to come and be part of this wonderful cultural evening held to commemorate the birthday of Ishrama. I am a consular officer in the embassy. During the course of my work, I meet so many people with so many of problems. So obviously, the stress I undergo, you can all imagine. We generally say, if there are two people, there are three problems. There are about 100,000 Indians here. You can imagine the number of problems and our plight in trying to solve their problems. Sometimes the call comes to me from the airport. Sir, I have reached the airport, the flight is about to go and I don't have a visa. What can I do? I, can, I can't you know, help myself in helping him. Somebody comes to me he wants a passport immediately. I have my rules. I want to help, but I am helpless. The stress goes on. I want to help him. I really want to help him. I can understand his problem. So when I am not able to help, I am worried. So generally, my policy in the embassy is that wherever you can help, help the person. When you are not able to help, give him a patient hearing. Give him a patient hearing so that at least when he goes out, he will say, the job is not done, the man is not bad. Whereas, now onwards, I will add one more thing, that is smile. As Dr. Artong said, we cannot do it, but smile. Maybe he will also return the smile. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's the hallmark of the SAI organization, which is enhanced by selfless service. To become the organization head, you have to practice it from the bottom of your heart. Our regional head, Uncle Surinder Pal Sachdev, is a living example of that. I now request him to come on stage and inspire us. Sai Ram, Anam at the Divine Lotus Feet of Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba. On behalf of the Sri Sati Sai International Organization, Zone 4, Region 2, I welcome Your Excellency Jaya Chandran, First Secretary, Councillor, Embassy of India, and Madam Laila. Also, another member of the staff, Mr. and Mrs. Madhukar, the, the commercial attache of Embassy of India. I thank all brothers and sisters along with 
young tots. Also, I thank the presidents, the secretaries, and members of the organizations like Guru Singh Sabha, Namdari Sangat, Hindu Samaj, Radha Swami Ji, Good Shepherd Home, Thai Bharat Cultural Lodge, and Indian Women Activity Center. And also the attendance, all the attendance tonight. And last but not the least, all the parents who are not only helping but also attending this function. Totally, the participants tonight are 115. You can well imagine what would be the number of attendance from parents. Today's function is held annually in celebration of the birthday of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba's mother. Just like Rama, Krishna and Buddha were born out of divine, divine effulgence, this story runs through today of the great mother Ishwarama. She had a dream of Lord Satya Narayan Devi who cautioned her that she should not be frightened if something happens to her through the will of God. One day, as she neared the well to draw water, a big ball of blue light came rolling from the sky towards her, and she fainted. It was divine pravesa, meaning the entrance, and not prava, pras, pr, praswa, meaning the normal birth. For our great teacher, Sri Satya Sai Baba had come. In 1983, on the 6th of May, Ishwarama Day was proclaimed as Mother's Day. The significance of the day was very important as Satya Sai Mother died on that very day also. It reminds us that at the time of death, we should have sacred and divine thoughts, leaving behind fragrance of love and service. Ishwarama had told her son, Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba, that she had only two wishes. One was to build a school, and the second was to have hospital and both of them should be free because people of that village, inhabitants had to go far off for those, both of these purposes and also uh, they were very expensive too. So I would like to inform you up till now the Satisai organization has built two big hospitals in Bangalore as well as Puttaparthi, which are first class, international class called super specialty hospitals, where free services of uh, cardiac operations are done, at least 1,000 operations each hospital per year, and all free of cost. So this is the will of the mother of Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba's wish which has been granted to her by his blessings. Let me now thank all of you once again for participating in this function. Over and above that I would like to thank the following devotees and friends as tonight's function would not have been successful without them.
we have 11 teachers i would like to ask them to come forward one by one so that you may know who all of them kamlesh jakota ji deepa singh ji jyoti dawar anupa narula suma jaya chandran sri devi kavi parvati renu dial Sujata Menon and Mr. Velayutham. And also assistant teacher Gayatri Kumar. Today's functions, the drama goes to the best performance given by, of course, the actors, but there's always somebody behind more important. And that is the director as well as the writer, Brother Manoj Singh. Please give him a hand. We also have dance teachers, Mrs. Mohana, and Mrs. Priya. Other than this, the, there are volunteers who are friends, who are parents, and relatives. Ramakrishna, please come forward. Kaushal Ji. Darika Jakota, Shivan Bakshi,